What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're on one of our viewers' accounts, Make Shots, because, well, it's a perfect example of trying to test out kind of like a mid-game account that actually is going to build Elena during this event, um... And by Elena, I mean Phantom Defire Elena, not the regular dark hero that we have on our free-to-play, the actual Transcendence hero. So uh, this is kind of like a good scenario to kind of look and see what she's like. Of course, building her super tanky is awesome. Honestly, I, I kind of I kind of prefer that higher block chance, though. I really like the block. Um, she does not have anything in her tree as of right now. Uh, I don't think they have a skin either, because basically this is a free-to-play account at this point. I think they might have spent way back in the day. This account has not been spent on in over a year, which is why you can kind of see the difference of progress. You got a lot of heroes, like the old-school whale accounts have, but you don't have, like, you don't have all those uh, spiritual essences, those sublimations. So we're going to see how she fits in with a team like this. And this is pretty much an average early to mid game account. We, of course, have a Rui Scepter over here on our Jara. Um, Vesa, wow, Vesa is actually the main householder back here. Looks like we have two different households. We have a full six hero squad. So again, this very much follows the tier list we did yesterday of the no core setup because I doubt we have any cores on this account. Yeah, we haven't spent, which means there's really no way to get cores. We do have a demon belt feed kind of setup here, which is cool. The problem is... Oh, man, this is going to be a fast, fast Jara with all this stuff on it. Man, these are the days back when you had, like, the low 2000s speed and everything. Uh, we're going to have to try to get her, like, a round two active, it looks like. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Interesting. Now... The one thing I want to try her out in Elena is to see if she can help with waves that a lot of people get stuck on, like this 147, the infamous Sherlock Holmes wave, because yeah, it has Sherlock, it has Holmes Young, uh, the infamous Sherlock Holmes is here to completely destroy us. We have a lot of Demon Bells, we do have a crown. There's really no way, I don't think, to get a round one active off, is there? And I don't know if we're even fast, slow enough. Well, actually, hold on, we can do that. We have two demon bells here. Getting her to have an active off is kind of important as well because, of course, you get that uh, that extra crit damage potentially. We're speedy here. Guess we could probably slow her down to 40, right? And just see if we can get her slower. Again, I have to check to see what the speed of the enemies are here. Um, kind of like this actually no speed speed's fine on you i kind of forgot about that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking backwards here i'm thinking like i need the jar faster no no no. we want the jar slower is there anything else we would change up here i kind of want crown over here do we have any other artifacts that we can spare probably just all on tenants uh there's a there's another crown here you know what i'm stealing the crown from this throwing it back over here we're going to eventually test her in dark sea land as well because i believe on this account uh yeah they're at 25 or 26-4 we're going to try that tomorrow on this mid game account let's just see how this works out in this team so uh, i'll do this 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 kind of want you like over here you over here you over here Let's go with the typical Phoenix, and yeah, no cores whatsoever, so this, again, follows our tier list very well of important heroes to build. And like I said, in the very, very early game, having this jar is important. The big downside of this right here is the fact that, uh, yeah, this jar not quite fast enough to go before the enemy team. And that does become an issue. And on top of that, the Sherlocks are going to reflect. The big thing is trying to CC those Holmes Youngs from getting their actives off. Elena hopefully providing some dodge in combination with Freya. But it doesn't look like they dodged the Doves, which feels bad. We do have some decent survivability. She actually got broken out of that. That is interesting. Uh, but the Poison Stacks are starting to build up very quickly here. Uh, and the damage, again, Jara is essentially our main damage dealer in this as well because our Lord of Fear Aspen isn't really geared up for like big, big damage. We do need to make our team a little bit faster, though. So that's going to be the thing we try to do because we definitely want to get our Jara to go off and hopefully CC those homes young so they don't even get additional energy or anything. 
Very tanky Vesa, very tanky Lord of Fear Aspen, but not what we need right now. What we do need is, I guess, we do need to try to make you faster. Man, 2,000 though. Like, we're the only the big downside here is we'd have to do this. And then at this point, actually, she's got to be our damage dealer in reality. Something like along those lines. Yep. Uh, 2075. That is going to be kind of impossible to get our heroes faster. Although, we might have to use these two down here as the feeders. Oof. Not much speed. Man, this is kind of brutal. 2075 is really, really difficult to get to. We only have one hero that's really able to do that, it looks like, and it's the Vesa. You're like straight up speed. Yeah, this is where this is where things get really iffy. Not getting around one active feels really bad. So she has to go essentially after. Man, that actually does feel really, really bad. Because even if we do this, the Ruby Scepter just gives so much speed here. 2000 is just a little bit too slow. Honestly, if anything, uh, do we want her to have an active in round one? We kind of do. We kind of want all of them have had active in round one. I, I really kind of want to swap a Demon Bell onto the Vesa. Just to get shields up right away. I think it's going to sound weird, but honestly, I kind of want the Elena to have the sh shield. I think this is how I want. Actually, you know what? No, let's just do this. Let's just go full Demon Bells here. One crown on Lord of Fear Aspen. I think this will be fine. I'm hoping it's fine. Again, though, we're going to be going after those Holmes Youngs, but getting this vest with a round one active and having more actives coming out could be a good thing. Again, it's really sad to see that we're going after these Holmes Youngs, and this is where speed, oh, oh, they just completely sniped our Jara. You know, there is a different method we could run here, though. The Ruby Scepter might not be the answer because, of course, so much of it is getting reflected back to us anyway. And we need to give the Elena enough time to give us those dodge stacks. So let's see what we can do. If we actually change this, her, over to like a Punisher or honestly, even like a crown, just getting a crown on her instead. That means we can now run her faster, but she's still only 2040. Which again, we can run her down to this and make her two. I mean, two thousand still that slow speed, isn't it? Twenty forty, twenty twenty seventeen. Yeah, it's still really, really a struggle. Twenty twenty is you. So like, if we run her at run her at twenty twenty, maybe. Maybe she can go in the first round before the enemy here. We, of course, want her all the way in the back so that the order is mixed up a bit. Let's see what this one works out as. Yes, yeah, so she does get that active off there. The only two that are slower are the Elena and the Freyas. The hope is that we can just dodge a lot of the actives in round one. That's going to be the biggest hope here. Um, and Jara is a lot healthier to get more actives off man our elena is just so slow though being that she has no origin or anything but again see see we were able to dodge that one with the jar which is good but then we're gonna lack the damage so the dodge definitely does help like is is definitely a positive but a wave like this is just so so hard to actually like test with as much as she is helping this wave this wave's just really, really difficult to beat. You almost just need one of those really big damage dealers like a Mockman or Vulcan to punch through this. So as much as she can help with her dodge capabilities, um, I mean, maybe if she went first, it would help because then we could get layers of the Shadow Lurk. But again, just having her as a, what, a V... We, we get the, the V2 version here, right? Meaning we get two stacks. That's only coming to, what... 30% chance. I mean, that's still a good chance. You'd think it would help pay off, but really it's also coming down to the poison stacks that are really gutting us. If anything, maybe running her with a crown would be a better idea. 
that is an option. We could change something around and do something like this. Run Aspen with the Demon Bell and run her with the crown and see if she can actually survive a little longer. I'm intrigued. I want to see if she can make it work. I want to see if she can make it work. It would be awesome if she could. Uh, giving our team a little more tank ability because maybe if she has enough dodge chance, her and Jara can kind of just take this wave pretty easily. Jara got CC. That's not the worst thing in the world, though. You can't run dot removal on this one because of those doves. Uh, Elena is really tanky right now. My goodness. Um, we got some fear effects going around. Yeah, this is where the dodging definitely is coming into play. Just dodging the attacks in general. Don't die, Vesa. I could use one more active from you, please. <laughs> oh, she's most definitely going to die. Yep, there's no way she doesn't die from them poisons after getting hit so many times now. Yep, she's down. Uh, Elena's still holding strong. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I don't think she's going to be able to do what we need her to do. Not when they're already this powerful. Granted, we're still in chapter one, but chapter one is still very difficult for free to play accounts. And that's essentially what this is at this point. Uh, the jar route really does not work the second you come up against waves like this with Sherlock. Uh, hoping the Elena would have a little bit more impact on this battle, but again, we're taking an entire first round. We could try getting her faster. We could try getting her faster so that she goes before the enemy as well, uh, because we're going to have other heroes faster than her feeding her energy. So let's do one more test with her in the early Void campaign here. Both her and Freya kind of lacking for us, for a better word. Um, I mean, we could run a Rui since it doesn't look like we have any, like, splendid AMBs. 2057. Go, like, down to 2017. I do like that. And then there is another crown to go around. Which, honestly, throwing that on maybe... Ooh, man. No, no, I, I, think, I, like, I think I like this, honestly. Um, I feel like the Jara definitely needs the crown here to help with her survivability because she is literally a wet noodle. Please, Elena, go before the enemy. No, we literally need to be, I think, that 20-20 speed. Uh, we do go before the Sherlocks, though. Which should help because we're getting two stacks of that dodge and you guys can see it. That little like shimmery shield over her head is very important here. Um, because we want to protect the back row here. If we can get more demon bell feeding going on here in round two. I mean the dodge chance between Freya and, uh, and her could be pretty clutch here. She also does have a fear effect so Rui isn't completely wasted on her. Uh, she does you know, have a chance to put that fear effect just like Lord of Fear Aspen. Yeah, it's just a little bit too much coming in. Uh, I think if this is going to work, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go absolutely crazy on damage, run something like a Punisher Staff, and just hope she has enough damage and some CC to get this done. Because otherwise, yeah, it's not looking too hot for us. Uh, we did get a good CC off, and we do have those dodge shields. This one is looking promising if we can keep them locked down, but chances are they're going to get free. Uh, we do get to try to CC the Holmes Youngs again. They get one active off. Honestly, if I were to run a macro on this wave, I think this would be a big difference. The dodge chance does feel significant. Uh, but the poison is just so devastating. You literally have to lock down, like everybody and the big problem here is locking down these sherlocks are impossible to work through their cards that fast you literally gotta hope you dodge but even if you are dodging the attacks you're still getting those homes young potions getting chucked at you from a basset skill that feels really bad oh jar just might be dead nope she's still alive hold on uh okay okay yep dodge everything dodge everything don't let uh, wow everybody gets to attack huh this is kind of crappy um but i mean in combination kind of cool she does seem like a pretty good addition to this team plus she of course has a chance to cc she's pretty tanky considering she has a Rui scepter and i think that's partly due to the 
<laughs> the poison damage nuked us. Uh, it's partly due to the fact that she has built-in damage reduction, I believe, with her... Um... Yeah, we got the damage reduction right there, which is pretty solid. Speed HP, I don't know. What do you guys think? Would it be better trying to get, like, a basic... Because it's really only going after one target... It only Mystic Veil the alley with the least number. Well, I guess it would give it to everybody, right? That's not the worst thing in the world. Not getting an active isn't that bad. You get one layer instead of two layers. I don't know. I mean, she definitely helps with the control immunity part of it, but that's after they start releasing actives, and then it gets really, really tricky. It really depends on the RNG of her trick as well. Um, getting the shield one... The healing ones, things like that, could be huge. So there is RNG involved, but hey. It's pretty cool to see her on, like, this mid-game account type thing. It's uh, it's refreshing to have her at V4, have her be a tenant, things like that. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. We'll have more testing of her to come, and I'll see you guys next time.